against the Stanford very early age. Um, generally just spectating um, with my dad at motorsport events, everything from um, motorcycle racing to Formula One, um, and obviously rallycross was my primarily look, primary love in terms of um, in terms of type of motorsport. Rallycross was my um, my main focus in terms of the type of motorsport that I liked, in terms of the, um, the adrenaline rush and the speed of, of the sport itself and the cars that were involved. But my, my main aim and ultimate aim and ambition was to actually compete, um, which I started to do in 2008. Um, bought myself a Peugeot 205 GTI stock hatch car, um, used that for a season and a half, came third in my first year in the championship, in the BTRD championship. Um, midway through 2010, um, I sold that and bought a Citroen Saxo VTR um, and used that to good effect in 2010 to finish fourth in the championship. Um, obviously all the prep gets done in the, the week leading up to the event. Um, Travelling generally across the UK and Ireland, we have events everywhere from Kent up to Scotland, down to the um, down to South Wales. Some events um, occasionally over the Irish Sea or in, in Northern Ireland or Southern Ireland. Um, so obviously travelling to the events to start with and then a typical weekend would be um, prep and um, setting up the night before and a race day would be everything from um, signing on as a driver, um, checking our licences, scrutineering of the car from an eligibility and safety perspective and then we have um, one practice session, generally three or four laps long, um, we then have three qualification heats, again three or four laps long um, and depending on our results in those qualification races, um, just depend on what, um, what final we start in at the end of the day. Okay, um, Rallycross is a fast um, adrenaline rush type of sport, um, generally done on um, circuits across the UK. Um, we use a mixture of gravel and tarmac. Most races are generally only three or four laps long, so you could probably say three or four miles long in, in total. So in a race weekend, I probably wouldn't do any more than 15 or 20 miles in a race weekend. Um, the class itself is 45 years old this year. Um, in terms of the sport, it, um, 1967, I think it was its, um, its first ever event down at Lydon Hill in Kent. Um, and it's progressed over the, over the years to having a, a full MSA British Rallycross Championship which is made up of various different classes. You've got um, stock hatch standard production which is either 8 valve cars or 16 valve cars. Um, general running costs are three to £5,000 per year. General buying of a car is, is similar, three to £4,000. The car that I compete in is a, um, what we call a stock hatch car. Um, primarily based around um, standard production car in terms of the way it came from a manufacturer so this car itself in terms of um, modifications are very limited so primarily it doesn't come down to budgets and size of pocket it comes down primarily to driver skill. So in terms of modifications on this if you've got yourself a basic Citroen Saxo um, all you'd be allowed to do on it is um, change the front and rear suspension put some different brakes on it um, and then in terms of engine um, we can't touch it we can't modify it in any way apart from the air intake and we can fit a different radiator to it at the same time. But with the exception of that, there's only modifications that we can, we can make. And from that, um, it keeps you very, very cheap. You could probably put one of these cars on the, on the track for a couple of grand. Um, and yeah, you can have some, some good fun. Yeah, race team's primarily made up of, um, of myself, girlfriend, the team maker, and um, I work closely with a number of close universities to me and gave the opportunity to work for work experience to their students. Um, and the students have come on board with me since 2008 um, in various different capacities. Um, and this has enabled them to gain practical experience, um, race event experience, how it all works. And on the back of this, hopefully, will help them to, to get some employment and obviously um, me writing references for them from a race team perspective. So. With um, an upgraded car over the winter, um, some new sponsors on board during the winter as well. Hopefully, this can enable us to move up to the to the front and generally finish on a podium on more more occasions. We've got six events this year. If I could finish on a podium, three out of six, we're more than happy. 